If there is one thing that needs recording and put on the podcast garden each and every week, it is our weekly call from Gary Clark of uh, WDEB in Jamestown. Uh, He is the play-by-play voice for the York Institute Dragons. And tonight, the Dragons roared. Congratulations, uh, Gary. The, uh, The long drought for a win is over. That's true. We got our first win of the season, and it was it was a big one. We rolled forty nine to seven over Cannon County. York jumped on the lines like uh, Miss Alabama on Donald Trump. <laughs> oh goodness! Uh, talk about. Hey, hey, wait a minute, now, I'm oh. not going to talk about Miss Georgia. I don't know what she was talking about. I don't even go there. <laughs> I, you know, I. I that doesn't mean a whole lot to me. I don't really pageant watch for some reason. I, I guess I'm just old. Just, just Google that and you'll get what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> All right, good deal. Hey, I tell you what I need to Google is I need to Google uh, who had great games tonight for the York Dragons. Well, it seemed like all the Dragons had great games. They come out, first kick off, York took it back 80 yards, set up a, their first touchdown. Then uh, Ken K came back. Ken K looked impressive. It was their homecoming. They come out all fired up. They went through York's defense. York's defense in that first series was missing like Jason Paul Pierre's uh, index finger. They just uh, they couldn't stop them that first drive, and Ken K went up seven nothing. It was all York from that point. Oh, that's uh, that's one picture that never needed to get to the internet, wasn't it? That's true. <laughs> uh, that was just that's hideous. Uh, the uh, York big win tonight over over Cannon County, and uh, that ensures that uh, you won't go winless on the year. And it's a region win too, right? Oh yeah, it was a big region win for us because uh, being winless in the region right now, and just just picking up this first one gives us hope because you got to be one of the top four teams, and there's some good teams we still got to play. And, uh, you know, you've still got Upperman on the list. You've got uh, Smith County on the list. You've got some good teams yet to play. Uh, we're talking to Gary Clark, the play-by-play voice for the York Institute Dragons. Next week, it's not a conference game, uh, but it is a, uh, a game that you guys really want to win. It's a rivalry game with your good old buddies over at Livingston Academy. Well, that's true. We head to L.A., and it's always a rivalry when these two get together, folks. It's if they were t- playing the Tiddly Winks, you better go watch out for knives because these guys really go at it when they when it's living to the academy in York. Coach Bruce Lamb got his kids playing well. York's got back to playing well. Should be a heck of a ball game. Uh, they 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 bring out the knives during Tiddly Winks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, last time we uh, played chess, three people got put in the hospital. But that's. <laughs> It, it gets ugly between the two. It, they play a lot of marbles up there on the ridge, right? Up there, on the uh, ridge? yeah. They, that, that's more of a Clay County thing. We don't want to talk. <laughs> they do play a lot of marbles, but uh, yeah, like I said, you you, you when Livingston, you are get together. You better have your insurance paid. <laughs> All right, Gary. And uh, what is the uh, what's that famous wine uh, that's uh, grown up there uh, uh, in 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 York Institute territory, in Jamestown territory? Well, you know, the you know what the most famous wine in, or the most famous whiskey in Tennessee is, is Jack Daniels. Yeah. The most famous wine in Tennessee for the past few years is, are we ever going to be Livingston? <laughs> All right, Gary, great spot, great drop. We appreciate you as always. Uh, have a safe drive back up on the uh, back, back up on the rim, okay? Yeah, we just we just came through McMillan. We thought about just heading on Manchester and joining you guys tonight. All right. Well, you're welcome here anytime, my friend. Okay. Sounds good, bro. All right. We'll talk to you later. That is yeah. that is Gary Clark of WDEB. Uh, uh, three people got put in the hospital the last chess game they had.